Greetings to you, my dear friend. I hope all is well with you and your family. Our message today is a follow-up to last week's message in which we stress the fact that when God created this world, the crowning act of creation was the creation of Adam and Eve, and he made them male and female. Male and female are the only physical characteristics the Bible records of Adam and Eve. Today, we will look at a second beginning. What do I mean by a second beginning? When Noah and his family exited the ark in Genesis 9 verse 1, the Bible says, And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This is precisely what God told Adam in Genesis 1 28, Adam and Eve. So this is in a very real sense another beginning. In preparation for this, let us go to Genesis 7 verse 1 as God assembles all the animals in the ark, animals that would repopulate the earth after the flood. In Genesis chapter 7 from verse 1 we read, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female, of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female. We are told thrice, male and female, male and female, male and female. It is told to us about Adam and Eve, it is told to us about the animals. When Noah and his family left the ark, out of the ark went male and female animals. So in the second beginning of this earth, we have male and female again. Now, let us listen to the fourth commandment. Exodus 20, we shall read from verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maid servant. We have male and female in the fourth commandment. My listening friend, my message is very simple. It is simply an emphasis or a re-emphasizing of what we said last week. And this point needs to be emphasized in a world in which there are so many genders and people choose their gender and shift from one sex to another surgically. The fourth commandment contains male and female. When God began the world all over again after the flood, he told Noah, bring into the ark male and female. Three times we find the expression male and female. My burden, my dear friend, is that you and I will not succumb or surrender to the standards of this earth, standards based upon sin. But despite the widespread popularity of anti-biblical standards, and sentiments we will hold to a plain and simple thus saith the lord as you and your family keep the sabbath holy may the lord bless you and may the spirit of god fortify you and strengthen you so that in all you do you will live by what the bible says and not what is popular in society may god bless you abundantly and put a double blessing on your children.